on this episode of Catering Wars. Are we really gonna have a party if you don't find the kids? Am I in here telling you how to cook these hors d'oeuvres? I would just like to choke her. You just make sure that that food's on point. Completely separate menu, completely separate setup. We could do something for that. We should be discussing it together and then giving the client an answer. Every time it's yes from Shane, yes, yes, Only yes. reason I said yes is to make sure the client's happy. Fine! He cannot do that, y'all. I can't even believe this. Boss Hog, you messed with the wrong family. I'll take this opportunity to put this snakeskin boot right up your ass. That's my sister you're talking to. Atlanta's food catering business has just gone digital. When people want the best price and the best caterer for their event. Got to keep moving. It's time to go. They post their party needs at caterbid.com. OK, OK, here we go. Caterers then have 10 minutes to outwit and outbid the competition. Don't let it get away. While y'all are fussing, somebody else is making my money. When the clock strikes zero, the team with the lowest bid wins the job. And all the headaches that come with it. Let's get going! are always crazy. We're always rushing around trying to get settled for the day. <laughs> In addition to my brother Jimmy and my mama, I got 80 family members counting on me to bring home the bacon. So every day we need to win events and I'm going to win one today. Hey, we got something in, guys. All right, talk to us. It's at a ranch called the Exodus Ranch. That'd be fun. The first event of the day is up for grabs on caterbid.com. It's an Old West-themed charity event to benefit Haitian children. Expecting 150 guests, the client wants to serve an authentic Western menu with Old West decor. And it's all happening at the Exodus Ranch. The reason I went on to caterbid.com was to find a caterer that I thought could bring us the whole essence of what this day is about for the fundraising, for the cowboy, for the whole Western deal. So it was important to me to find a caterer who could bring to the table that authenticity in food. I wonder if we can cook outside, like on, on open fire, you know, like a dude ranch sort yeah. of thing. Do they have any special requests or anything? Yes, a whole roasted pig. OK, all right and the staff to be in cowboy costumes, so those ashless chaps might just come in handy. <laughs> <laughs> Me and my wife, Sage, started the Ocean Catering Company about 10 years ago. We named it after my son, Angus Ocean McIntosh. Every time we win an event, it's about taking care of my family. It's another night I get to sleep peaceful knowing they're gonna be taken care of. You know, I haven't worn those since our honeymoon. Yeah, don't remind me. <laughs> That's us, 100%, dude. Is everybody else is gonna be pretending, but we're gonna be doing what we do naturally. I own a barbecue joint here in Atlanta, but if you wanna make the big bucks, you also gotta do catering. So I just invested $100,000 of my own money into my new rig, the 18 Squealer. What exactly are they looking for decor? Is there any specifics in there at all? More of the same, more of the Old West theme right oh, there. Bro. So we All us, man, we can turn the squealer into a covered wagon. How much do you charge somebody to roast a pig? Well, I mean, it's not that hard. A whole That's pig a with a snout and a little apple in his mouth? Not Hawaiian style. I started this company 22 years ago, and now my daughters are my business partners. And believe me, that can really be challenging. And they want the staff to wear cowboy costumes. I'm not wearing no, no cowboy costume. I, I just oh, hot boots. That's what I was thinking, new boots. <laughs> they want the real cowboy food. It's probably going to be like barbecue. Cowboy potatoes, baked beans. Jimmy, we're already country. We're going to play the part great. I want to be the real McCoy out there. Hey, Lloyd, what we're going to do is start it out at $16,000. $16,000, put it in. My family's a bunch of cowboys. This event is perfect for us. They know that I want this. We have to do this. It is made for us. It, I can feel it inside me right now. There's really no competition here. No, dude. If this event ends up in Lori's hands, the people are not going to get an authentic experience, and I'm going to fight for it. Howdy Hog's going to be all over it. That's their thing. They're liable just to walk the cattle right on over there. <laughs> There's no telling. They probably have the decor in their house. Absolutely. We're taking this bad boy. Right. This is for us. OK, we're in at 15. Uh, here comes Shane. If we can get the bid at 10% below our original bid, we can get it. I'm going to go $500 less That's than it. them. There is no way that Pat's Party Perfect can go to some cow pasture. She's too nice of a lady to do that. Drop it 700 bucks. With that variable in numbers, they don't know if it's 75 or 150. If they want to cut in boss's throat, that's their own business. We're out. 
No, Atlanta's finest and hottie hogs are much more cowpoke than chefs. Enjoy stepping in horse when you're trying to cook. I'm gonna cut $1,000. Find me a thousand bucks somewhere. I am not losing this job. Oh, dang, another bid just came in. That's only $65 a person and I'm out. Check it out. Do it. The bid's in, Lauren. Bottom, we can go 98.50. I've cooked for real cowboys right out of a chuck wagon. This event has hottie hogs written all over it. Everybody just needs to get the hell away from it right now. 10, nine. I can feel her shaking in her boots right now. She's about to fold like a wetsuit. Don't you lose that bid, son. We've been around a long time. Ain't nobody gonna kick me off the block. Boss Hog, you need to back off. Atlanta's finest. I'm not gonna settle for this. You know, Lori and Jimmy, you may have won this little battle, but I'm gonna win the war. We're headed over to the ranch right now, and I'm very excited about getting all the details. Jimmy? I don't know, but look at all, look at the horses over here. Oh God, this is beautiful. Hey, how you hey, doing? How you doing? It's very important to me that we bring our guests a very authentic cowboy experience. This event can make me a lot of money. I'm excited to see exactly what she means by authentic. When I think authentic, I think, what did the cowboys and the cowgirls eat when they were out and about? Of course, there were cattle involved, but there were also rabbit, cactus, fried mountain oysters. What is that? Put this as delicately as I possibly can, it's testicles. Testicles of what? Jimmy, it's pig balls. Or horse, or cow. You use, you, I didn't know you could fry horse balls. You can fry anything that comes off a critter. <laughs> we got a saying around here. Don't ever approach a cow from the front, a horse from the back, and don't ever put balls in Jimmy's mouth. Do you mind if we go and look at your kitchen? I'd like to see where I can clean up and maybe prep some of these things. We have a grill. We've got a campfire. If you need to fry something, do it the old-fashioned way. I mean, why do you have to have all the fancy conveniences to do that? This is a ranch. We're talking authentic here. You know, she already wanted an exotic menu. Now she wants us to cook out there like home on the prairie in this open field. Her budget has just gotten into my budget. Hey, uh, boss, you got a couple seconds? Yeah, man, come on in. All right. Ever since we lost this cowboy event to Atlanta's Finest, it has been eating at me like nothing else. This is us. Who else is better suited to cooking cowboy food than you? What are you thinking? Boss, I think we should reach out to the client, get him in here for a tasting. If the client decides to change their mind, mm -hmm. so be it. There's nothing wrong with that. This is America. There's no harm done in that. I'll get the client in here. You just make sure that that food's on point. We're gonna get this, man, all right? <laughs> we got this, all right? Way to go. We're gonna do whatever it takes to steal this client. When Melody tries our food, she is gonna forget all about Atlanta's finest. Hey, Kathy, come on over here for a minute. I'm gonna show you how to make these. These right here are bowl balls. We're gonna end up filleting this whole thing. Well, this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna take the skin off this, okay? Then what we're gonna do, Kathy, we're gonna cut this thing very thin. Then we're gonna take the slices we're gonna put them in this buttermilk. Then we're gonna batter it in this flour. Then we're gonna fry it, want it kind of golden brown. Okay, everybody. I got finger licking bull balls. I need everybody to come try them. Come on, guys, let's go. Whatever we cook, we're gonna try it ourselves. Ready? I'll be honest. I love them. I love you know them what? balls. You know what? It tastes just like pork chops. It's a dark day in hell when I'd put bulls balls in my mouth. We got it! Oh! We got it! The catering wars have begun, with Atlanta's finest roping in an authentic cowboy barbecue. But sore loser Hottie Hogs is ready to turn the event into a duel. I'll get the client in here. You just make sure that that food's on point. The battles continue as caterbid.com launches its newest event on its website. Hey, baby, anything new come in? Yeah, something actually just popped up. It's a bar mitzvah. Features 45 guests, an exotic menu, and it's at the exclusive five-star Hotel Indigo. Callie's Bar Mitzvah and the blessing is just a huge event for the family and friends, and it's got to come off just perfectly with no hitch. I think it's going to be a challenge. I'm catering an event to impress my friends. I want them to go away and say, wow, this was really delish. 
All right, well, let's look at food costs now. Let's look at what we're going to charge per person. I don't think our food's going to be as expensive as other ones. It's a little bit more of a light hors d'oeuvres type thing in a buffet. Before you even think about putting in a bid, you got to get all your numbers together. You got your labor, your food costs, and you even got to put a little padding in there because these clients will always hit you at the last minute with unforeseen things, and that gets right into your bottom line. It's worth it if we get the gig and the exposure from it. Try to make it happen then. This is a really good event. The Jewish community in Atlanta is very large and it's very tight-knit. So if we can get this event and do a good job, we'll get lots more events. It'll be great for business. My mom and sister still aren't here. I don't know if they're stuck in traffic or they slept late, but I really want to make sure we get the events that come up today. So if they don't make it, I'm just going to have to bid by myself. Um, we might have to think about kosher menu. Yeah. We have to think about menus that go like both ways. That would be nuts. We have to get this. This is going to be awesome. Yeah, this is going to be super nice. This is going to be a fun party, too. Events like this were made for Ocean Catering Company. They want top notch food, they want the best staff. That's what Ocean Catering Company does. And then let's get the party started. Hurry up. Let's get this number in. We need to, let's, get, let's go ahead and get going with this. All right, we're, we're looking at a grand total of five grand. Let's go five grand then. Shane, I'm sick of playing your games here. Hottie Hogs will get in there and show them how it's done. You just need to get out of the way. Can we do it at that number? We still cool? Yeah, according to the numbers, we should be okay. Yeah, we should be good. Okay. All right, let's bam. Okay. Ooh, okay. Ocean's Catering came in at 48.50. And, you know, they're a bigger company than us, but, you know, that doesn't scare me at all. I really think I'm just going to go down a little lower than them, and then I can probably get this event. Look, I'm tired of messing around with these folks. Let's just clear the field. Drop this 500, boom, see who's left standing. They're trying to push me out of the way. They keep trying to win this. I'm not, I'm standing. Ocean's Catering Company keeps driving the price down, trying to throw their weight around, but I'm not scared of Shane. I am going to stay in this to the end. They're gonna shoot themselves in the foot on this one, man. You know, Matt's right. When the numbers start dropping like this, and I see all the risk, it just tells me to get out. How can you make money off this with all these unknowns? We've got a minute to go. I'm I'm getting really nervous about so going any lower. Let's go $100 right now. Let's go $100. So right now, it's between us and Pat's Party Perfect. Shanae, you know you can't do this. If you think you're gonna scare me away, you got another thing coming. The question is, is getting in front of this client worth not making any profit off this? I got it! I got it! I got it! See what's gonna happen? They ain't gonna make a dime off this. You know what? That's their problem. Let them deal with it. We definitely went a little bit lower than I thought we were gonna go, but I'm not scared because we can handle any of that. I'm really excited about our first bar mitzvah. I'm on my way to meet the client and go get details about this event. The good news is, since this event is at a really nice hotel, we are not responsible for decor. Tell me, what kind of parties do you do in Well, event? we've done it all. We do weddings. Uh -huh. We do anniversary parties. We do birthdays. If there's food and it's in Atlanta, we've done it. Uh -huh. I'm catering an event to impress my friends. I'm a little hesitant about this caterer. I don't, I've not heard of her reputation in Atlanta, but I'm optimistic and we'll, we'll go with it. You ever do any Jewish affairs like bar mitzvahs? Um, we've never done a bar mitzvah before, so I'm excited to get some more information about yours. You know, this is not a bar mitzvah, this is a bark mitzvah. Bark mitzvah. Well, uh, yeah. It's all about Callie. Oh, it's for her. Yeah. That's yeah. so cute. I know, I know. She's a very sweet girl, and you know, she's getting older. I cannot believe this woman wants to have a birthday party for her dog. Is this woman crazy? Callie is really an intimate part of my family, has been with me for nine years now. It's her birthday coming up, and it's really a very sentimental time for us. Let's talk about food. Right. Um, what kind of food items were you thinking? I think it would be cute thematically to have items that are dog-like, maybe in the shape of bones, balls, and rawhide. Now, I'm not sure about the, the dog food. So you expect us to feed the dogs, too? Yeah, yeah. This lady wants us to feed her dogs and her guests? When you're bidding online, you never know what you're going to get. Do you have any other concerns or anything else we need to discuss? This has got to be a, a kosher event. A kosher bark mitzvah. Well, yeah. OK. So a kosher menu means we're going to have to cook in a kosher kitchen, which means we're going to have to dig even deeper into the budget. So, do you expect for the dog treats to be kosher as well? Yes, of course, yeah. OK, so, yeah. kosher mm -hmm. dogs. Mm -hmm. Got it. This is going to be way more challenging than I thought. The upside to this whole thing is if we succeed, we're going to get even more of these types of events. The downside is I only bid $3,900. 
So I'm nervous if we're gonna make any money at all. I'm on my way home to break the news to my mom and to my sister about this doggy bark mitzvah. If we get in with the Jewish community here in Atlanta, it could mean a lot of future work for Past Party Perfect. Hey, y'all. Hey. OK. So we got a new event. First of all, it's a bark mitzvah. We got a what? What is that? A bark mitzvah is a coming of age celebration for a dog. What you bid on is for a dog. There's going to be 30 human guests and 15 dogs. We're we feeding them all? We're feeding them all. We need three appetizers, a bone, a ball, and rawhide. She wants it to look or resemble those three things. It's she wants it. her guests to eat something that looks like dog treats. It's a dog party. The party is for the dog. Rich people just ain't got no sense. The other twist is that it's kosher. She is so determined to focus in on her end of it. But she doesn't understand. The food for a specialized menu like this is going to cost out of the wazoo all the regular numbers out of the window. Not going to work. You're asking me to create a kosher menu. Mom. And to stay in budget yes, on this event in two days. I know you're up for the challenge. My and brain I'm... is like, I'm overloaded with information. Where are we going to find a kosher kitchen? Isn't this event on Saturday? I'm going to worry about the budget, and I'm going to put some effort into finding a kosher kitchen. She came home all excited, like, look what I got. Yeah, I see what you got us, a mess. Hey, Matt, how's the snake coming, Dude, man? beautiful, of course. Check this Ooh. thing out, man. <laughs> Lori, I ain't stealing your business. I'm borrowing it. And at the same time, I'm saving you from going out there and embarrassing yourself and your entire company from getting into something you shouldn't be in in the first place. I'm going to fight for this event because we're the ones that need to be doing it. So for the rattlesnake, I'm going to fillet it. I'm going to soak it in some buttermilk. So then I'm going to dip it in a batter. Once I get it out of the batter, I'm going to deep fry it. And it's going to blow her mind. It's going to be rattlesnake with a bite, if you will. Melody's gonna be here in a few hours, man. I need this tasting. If I'm gonna stick my neck out there like this, I want you to make sure you got my back, Hey, man, okay? I got your back on this. It's gonna be gorgeous. All right, let's have a good tasting, all right? Dude, dude, got it, man. Hell yeah. Melody. Hey. Welcome to Hottie Hogs. Thank you. A fully equipped smoker. I came today to make sure that I'm getting the very best that I can get for my event. Atlanta's Finest did offer the lowest bid. However, I just wanna make sure that uh, there's not something a little better out there. Melody, thank you so much for being here today. I have to be frank with you. The team who won this event online, that is not the right caterer for you. We're the people for the job, and I just want an opportunity to show you that. Well, I appreciate that you're thinking about us in that way, and, and I am anxious and excited to see what you have for me. Thank you very much. This right here is our cowboy stew. And last but not least, Rattlesnake. This right here is going to blow your mind. What do you think? It's really good. All right. Melody, you know, you've seen the rig, you've seen the, you've tasted the food, you see what we bring to the table. I can't tell you how big of a mistake it will be if you go with Atlanta's finest. What do you think? The catering wars are underway. I think I'll make a dime off this. Atlanta's finest struck first by winning an authentic cowboy event. <laughs> but after winning the bark mitzvah, Pat's Party Perfect is worried they may have barked up the wrong tree. Isn't this event on Saturday? Fortunately, a new event has just been posted on caterbid.com, and this one has huge dollar signs written all over it. It's a classy drag cotillion. It's a yearly event hosting 400 guests, a massive buffet with high-class decor, and it's all taking place at the famous foundry at Puritan Mill. Drag balls have typically been used as HIV AIDS fundraisers since the beginning of the pandemic. Everybody's going to be wearing their, their finest gowns and tuxes, so we really need it to be classy, and we just need to reflect how much people have paid into our um, organization. A drag ball? I think what they mean is like for drag queens. Wow. And 400 of them. Ooh. 
This is an annual event. Annual event means repeat business, which means money you can count on. I want this just for the photo opportunities, okay? We do 20 grand, you know, we're at $6,000 in food costs that we're allotted. This event is custom made for Hottie Hogs Barbecue. I know you love your white suit, but would you wear a white dress for this one? You wanted some photo ops, man, here it is, bro. Okay, that's enough. It looks like it's uh, the 11th year they've been doing it. Fantastic. So yeah, it's gonna be huge <laughs> and fabulous. Of course, it's gonna be fabulous. Food's simple, we, let's just start with about $30 a person. Just okay. 30 times 400. So now let's add our labor real quick. If we're okay. talking about 20 people. I want this event, this yeah, is gonna be yeah. phenomenal. This drag ball, this could be the event we've been waiting for to catapult us into Atlanta society. We could get referrals for years. Uh, let's start with 22,000. Okay, That'd be 22, great. That'd be nice. I mean, Puritan Mills, I know we could use the kitchen there, so there is an on-site kitchen. Still think there's room to, to make some money in this. So you wanna go at 20,000? Yeah, let's go for that. You know Ocean's chopping away at this thing, man. Yeah, I mean, this is right up their alley, too, you know? I, I love taking stuff from him, okay? Let's, let's just go a little lower. Let's do 19 4. The only competition I see in this bidding is Ocean. He's geared for this, it's close, it's right in his honey hole, but guess what? I got the squealer, I can underbid him. I'm gonna take the job and we're gonna kick his ass. We might need just to throw stuff in just to be impressive for within the- Within reason. Within reason. Yeah, within so reason. we have a little cushion for that, but you know. It's always within reason. Yeah, not always. Drop this bad boy to 17-5. Let's see who wants to play, see who's left standing. Let's not get burnt on this job, man. It's, uh, let's go, let's just go 16.9 right now. 16 and that's 16, it. 16,000. Nothing else. We have to get it. The only way Sage and I are gonna win this bid is to be aggressive and come in like a shark. What do you wanna do? We're gonna pull out. Okay, Shane, let me see you give them everything at that price. I think we're out of it, dude. Three, two. I mean, there's, there's gonna be bigger fish, man. One. <laughs> this event is perfect for us. It is gonna be a showstopper. I hope they don't make me dress and drag. Oh, I do. <laughs> <laughs> Today's a huge day. We've got our client coming. I couldn't be more excited about this event. This is something we've been dying to get into. We bid on it, we got it. It's the first time in 11 years, and we're so excited. Anna? Hey, see. Hi, come hey. on in. The Atlanta Cotillion is a special fundraising opportunity for Aid Atlanta. Everybody gets a chance to put on their best formal attire, ball gowns and tuxes. Definitely for me, nothing is more important than my event. This event, it is a debutante ball. In true Southern tradition, it's classy. So we really need to kind of top our past years, okay. um, and it's gotta be really nice. So it, it sounds like fun. All right, there's just one last thing. We have VIPs. They've given a lot of money for this event. So I was thinking of setting up a table for them uh, beforehand. We have 20 VIPs. We want a separate buffet set for these guys? Not a buffet, like a sit down. I think that would look really nice. You have got to be kidding me. We can make that happen. With a client like this, you tell them yes. You look right at them, you say, sure, I can take care of that. As soon as they leave, you run back to the back and you figure out how the hell you're gonna do it. That was not made clear in the request. I guess there was just some misunderstanding there. Sure, sure, we understand. There's a fine line between really pleasing your client and messing up your budget. They're VIPs. I need it to be different food, like maybe some sushi, maybe some like tempura. We can figure something out, for oh, sure. Oh, fantastic, great, for sure. great. Sage is gonna kill me, but I know we can do it. Completely separate menu, completely separate setup. We'll figure it out. Great. There is no way we can do a VIP dinner at this budget, because the numbers that I'm seeing are not gonna cover any of the stuff he's agreeing to. Right now, Sarita and I are going to the store and try to make this bark mitzvah a success. Okay, so what's the budget? $750, that's all we can spend. How much do we need, Four. Mom? Four. Whenever I'm planning an event, 25% is what I budget for food. But I've never shopped kosher. That's not gonna work. Oh my goodness, 30 cents a serving pasta just went up to 65 cents. And I have no idea what it's gonna cost me. But I can promise you this, it's gonna be more. So 750 was the number. Where do you think we're gonna end up? Probably 1,000. Oh my god. There's no way we're gonna break even on this party. Our budget for food for this event is only $750.
That means we are $571 over budget. We're just getting started, and we're already upside down. Right now, we've got a ton of stuff to get ready for this cowboy event. Uh, yes, I understand. You're going to call me around noon? I'll wait for your phone call. All right, thank you. All right, bye-bye. Jimmy, get over here. You are not going to believe this. That was Melody, Boss Hog, cook rattlesnake for her. I can't even believe this. Boss Hog, you messed with the wrong family. You offended me. He tried to steal our event, and I'm not going to let it happen. Boss Hog, what in the world do you think you're doing? First of all, what are y'all doing here? This is a place of business. That's a bunch of bull Lori showing up over here in my restaurant, yelling and disrupting my whole place of business. I cannot believe she stooped this low. You have no right trying to steal my client. You cannot do that. Or what do you know about cooking a snake in the first place? Well, what do you know about a potato teeny? A potato teeny? Who gives a shit about a potato teen? Show a little professionalism, hey, please. Hey, uh, professionalism? It's about professional. You didn't respect us. You knew that job was made for Hottie Hogs Barbecue. Well, then why did you, you bid the there? lowest price? You had every opportunity to win this bid. I'll tell you what I got an opportunity to. What? I'll take this opportunity to put this snake skin boot right up your ass. That's my sister you're talking to. You better step back off of me right now. <laughs> Oh, yeah? No, 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 oh, Jimmy, yeah. you ain't going there. I'm going to no. oh, take you not. over and put you over my knee right here. Hey, Jimmy, it ain't worth going to jail over. It's not that? worth going huh? to jail over. No, you... Come on. You're a snake. Go enjoy your day, I right? will. Thank you for coming to Hottie Hogs. I don't give a what she says, and I don't care what Jimmy says either. It's going to come down to Melody and whose food tastes best, and I guarantee you at 12 o'clock tomorrow when Melody makes her decision, it's going to be my phone that's ringing, and Hottie Hogs is going to be doing that event. Though three of Atlanta's top caterers are preparing for events they won on caterbid.com, winning has come with its costs. After going over budget buying kosher food for a doggy bark mitzvah, Pat's Party Perfect is now faced with a problem of finding a kosher kitchen to cook in. We're catering a kosher bark mitzvah for a dog, and our $3,900 budget has already taken a $2,100 hit. Shanae, you found the kitchen. Nah. I'm working on it. Shanae. I always figure it out. You hold think on, about the budget? On. Am I in here telling you how to cook these hors d'oeuvres? No. Oh. I, I would just like to choke her. Are we really going to have a party if you don't find the kitchen? I told you I always figure it out. Well, you need to go do that. Go do that. The name of this business is Pat's Party Perfect, and sometimes I think she forgets that. I've got to worry about the menu, and Sinead's going to have to find us a kosher kitchen on the cheap. Go find the kitchen. I have been all over Atlanta today. I have been to kosher supermarkets and even a few kosher delis, but I cannot find a kosher kitchen to rent anywhere. This could be my last chance. One of the big things is that we're going to have to actually cook this meal in a kosher kitchen. Would it be possible, maybe, if we use your kitchen? I'm just slammed, so there's no room in my kitchen. Oh. I am so frustrated. I don't really know what we're going to do. Is there any other, is there any other way? Well, there, there's a, a possibility, but you have to get a rabbi who would be able to kosher a kitchen. OK, well, that, is, that gives me hope. Maybe we could talk to our client, and maybe yes. they could communicate with their rabbi That's correct. about that. I'm going to call Marsha and see if she can get her rabbi to come down and help me get the kitchen ready. I wasn't stressed day of the tasting, but now I am. Melody said she was going to call us this morning, let us know what's going on, but we haven't heard from her. So I'm starting to get a little anxious. Think she's going to call? She said she'd call by noon. I'm going to give her a little leeway. I was so excited. I thought we were going to be able to close her right there on the spot. The last minute, she kind of wormed back just a little bit, but I still think we got her. What if she don't call, Lori? She said 12. I know she's going to call. Because she would have called at 11.55 if she wanted us. OK, well, don't quit being negative. Why wouldn't she call? We're the best. I feel good. All right, all right. Is it her? It's her. Y'all, y'all, y'all be quiet. Hey, Melody, I've been looking forward for your phone call today. Thank you. 
Thank you so much. I promise you, we're going to deliver exactly what our family said we're going to do. Have a great day. All right. Bye-bye. Yes! We got it! 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 I know she decided to work with Atlanta's Finest. I'll tell you right now, that event's going to be a disaster. Adios! You ain't got nothing on me, baby! Nothing! Today is the day of the event, and lucky for us, Marsha's rabbi made himself available to help us kosher the kitchen. And it's only going to cost us 100 bucks, which is way cheaper than having to rent a kitchen. Let's get started with the preparation. Any of the cooking utensils you'll put in that pot to kosher. Okay. okay. Do all of our utensils in the boiling water. Okay. okay. Kosher. Woo. <laughs> <laughs> you don't have any business in here. You're going to get hurt. <laughs> Pour hot boiling water over all of these areas. And you cover all of the countertops and everything else that you can cover. Okay. That takes care of all of the preparation. Now that the kitchen is all koshered out, it's time to get this party started. The guests and their dogs are coming in in their cute little costumes, and Past Party Perfect is hard at work in the kitchen. I've created a bone-shaped cracker, and I'm going to top it off with a garlic herb spread. Next is the rawhide. I'm going to take tuna jerky and candy it. And the last appetizer are the salmon balls. When I finish with this menu, it's going to be the best looking dog food you ever saw. Well, we're so touched that you all came today, not only to celebrate Cali, this is a blessing for all our animals. It's a very spiritual aspect to these folks and how we all love our animals. OK, so we have guests, canine and human. We're dropping the balls in the oil as you speak. So I'm going to introduce the Rabbi Kofskis. If you'd like to join in blessing Callie and your pet, please put your hand on your pet's head. Baruch atah Adonai, Eloheinu melech ha'olam. Get all hands on getting the buffet out. Can you stop talking to me so I can go over here and do what I need to do? Well, I come in the kitchen and you just sit there. Janae keeps running in and out of here, counting down like we don't have a clock in this kitchen. And if she does it one more time, I'm going to put my foot in the door. Shehakol baraki vodom. I'm Behind him. Just a few hours ago, we got this kitchen kosherized, and now we are in full party mode. We have human food that looks like dog food, and we have a puppy buffet. Slash is having a great time. He really enjoyed the salmon skins. My favorite was the tuna jerky. I got a couple more of those. <laughs> Thanks. Mm. The dogs had the salmon hot dogs. They've been following the lady around all afternoon. Yeah, you, and you, and you, and you, and you. The cake was really good. Not only was it tasty, but it was shaped like a bone, and that was really cute. Is this a dog treat? Do you know? <laughs> Thank you all so much for coming. Callie appreciates it, and I appreciate it. The food was yummy, so I want to thank you indeed for coming. I think this ranks really high for Atlanta Catered Events. I've been to a lot of things, and many of these folks have too, and they all came up and said, I have never seen anything like this before. Yeah, I'm still mad that Sinead bid on this event without us, but hey, in the end, she came through. She found us a kitchen, she got it kosher. The client was happy. We pulled off the event in spite of all the challenges, and nothing, not even the budget, got in the way of us making this party perfect. You are so darling, Harvey. Maybe after the bark mitzvah, y'all can get married. Come here, Harvey. This drag ball is a huge event in Atlanta. Because of my stupid husband, now we have no budget left. Shane promised a VIP dinner. We're way over budget. We're screwed. Is it money, Shane. are we? Yeah. I need to talk to you. Now, come on. Fellas, I'll be right back. We each have our roles, and mine is to manage the money and keep us on budget. He can say yes all he wants, but I'm the one who has to figure this out. We should be discussing it together and then giving the client an answer. We've got to talk about this event. About the drag show? Yeah. Where are we going to find this money to, to make the profit that we thought about? I don't know, but what do you want bit. me to do? You want me to tell them no? I'm just not sure if Sage realizes if we knock this event out of the park, we could get referrals for years. It's not just this one event. There's 400 people that we could get in front of. Every time it's yes from Shane. Yes, yes, yes. The only reason I said yes is to make sure the client's happy. Fine. Then I'll just have to clean up your mess. Right. Go get the food.
Right now, I'm headed back to talk to Sage. I didn't handle myself appropriately in the client meeting. I shouldn't have overstepped on Sage. We should have worked together and figured it out as a team. It's hard sometimes because, you know, he's my husband and you don't want, um, you don't want an argument that happens over business to affect your marriage or your relationship, but it can be hard to separate the two. Hey, baby. Hey. Hey. How are you? I'm all right, how are you? I'm doing great. We bump heads. It's the way it is. I got you oh. this one. Just to say I'm sorry, baby. Okay. You know, we have these rough patches. You know, you know, I just don't want to tell them no. You know, I get all excited. Uh, I just want to please the client. I want to please the client, too. You know, we just, there just has to be a balance. We can't say yes to everything and not charge more money. Working with your spouse is really challenging. It can be really frustrating, but I'm so happy that Shane took the time to talk to me and work things out, and I'm just really looking forward to creating a great event. Sage is absolutely right herself. She sees the bottom dollar. Now we have to make the event perfect. It's about our reputation. It's the day of the big cowboy event, and we worked our butts off to make this as authentic as possible for her. Right. The things she asked me to do. Table! This is our first event, so what happens today is going to set the scene for everything else that we do. So there is a lot riding on Atlanta's finest caterers, and I'm really hoping that they can pull this off for me today. Walk slow. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I'm so proud of everybody in my family. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. We have whole pig, rattlesnake, cactus salad, as well as fried rabbit and the bowl balls. And I hope everybody loves the food. Hey, here they come, y'all. Here they come. Man your station. Let's go. Carve it and smile, baby. Carve it and smile. It's showtime. What are mountain oysters? They are bull balls. <laughs> Try some. But I'll tell you right now, they taste better than pork chops. I like the uh, mountain oysters. They're delicious. Try that rattlesnake. It'll bite you. Oh, my gosh, that's so good. Kind of scary eating something that was poisonous, could have killed you, but it's uh, definitely been awesome. Yeah, girl. Thank you so much. Thank you for having us. We have enjoyed the day. Everybody loved it. I turned out about 25 business cards. Great success. This event was tough for us. We had to really fight off the competition. We ended up making a profit of $3,115. And all I got to say is, yeah! The drag ball is about to begin. People are walking in and they look amazing. The dresses are so glamorous and the hair is big and long. The makeup is flawless. I'm a little jealous. It's chic, it's shiny, it's, it's everything I'm not. I'm here to have some great food, some great drinks, and party my tits off. Right now, I can hear the music's cued. I can hear the people coming in. My buffets, they're doing the last little details. This showtime, time to go. Now it's time to serve the VIPs. I hope they love everything. Uh, scoop those down? Yeah, perfect, 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 perfect. The VIP dinner is the most important part of the night. We're going to have hand-rolled sushi and veggie tempura. These are the people who spend the most money at any events. We won't end with them. Our expectation for the caterer is very high. People pay a lot of money to get into this event, and the food just has to really be great. The sushi was amazing. It was lovely. It was really, really good sushi. I love it. It was fantastic. I love the sushi, the steamed veggies. Everything was wonderful. Shane and Sage really pulled out the stops. The night was fabulous. It exceeded our expectations, and everybody had a great time. The event went great. I'm so happy. We didn't make quite as much money as we had hoped, but I think we built a lot of business and really impressed people, and the future is bright. I just hope from now on, Shane agrees to do things my way. And you know what? At least my wife didn't leave me. <laughs> Following the three events, here's how the teams stack up.
Ocean's Catering won Atlanta's Cotillion Drag Ball for $16,000. After being blindsided by a dinner for the VIPs, that was not made clear in the request, came in at a whopping $17,000, putting them in the hole and out of pocket a thousand bucks. Pat's Party Perfect won a bark mitzvah for only $3,900. By using the client's rabbi to cashier the kitchen and by spending nothing on decor, they were able to finish, spending $3,400, making a modest $500 profit. Even though they tried to poach the barbecue away from Atlanta's finest, Hottie Hogs came away with nothing at the end of the week. And Atlanta's finest roped in an authentic cowboy barbecue for $9,750. After fighting off Boss Hogg to keep the event, the food came in far below the usual cost, and the decor was next to nothing, making Atlanta's Finest the week's big winner as they took home $3,115. If you're climbing the saddle, get ready for the ride. Ready. I am too. It's been fun. <laughs> it's been crazy, but it's been fun. I couldn't be happier, y'all. Y'all have done a great job. Y'all listen to me. This ain't my first rodeo. Ooh, that's my sign. I'm gonna mount this on my butt. <laughs>